Welcome to Reality Business Consulting's Be Real video tutorial series on how to manage your website with the WordPress Content Management System or WordPress CMS. The topic of this tutorial is WordPress CMS Basics Managing the Menu Navigation Bar. So here we are in the dashboard, that's after we've logged into our control panel. I'm going to show you how to manage the menu navigation bar or the nav bar on your website. In the previous tutorials, we follow the three simple rules of content management. Create the content, edit or format the content, and now in this tutorial we'll focus on placing the content, in this case on the menu navigation bar. In a previous tutorial on managing content pages, we created a content page, and now we want to allow the users to access this page through the menu navigations bar, or the nav bar. You'll find this tool to be very easy. To do this, we need to open the Appearances menu on the left and select the Menus option. What we see now is the pre-existing menu nav bar on your site. This will be the case when the site is delivered to you by Reality Consulting. On the right we see two tabs. Depending on how many navigation bars you have on your site, for administrative purposes each one is given a name. In this example and for simplicity's sake, one is called Primary and the other Secondary. However, this may be different on your CMS. These will correspond to the primary and secondary navbar on your site. The primary navbar will correspond to this menu on your website. The point here is that each tab represents a menu navbar managed by you that is already being displayed on your site. To modify a menu bar, be sure you select the proper tab and then you can begin to edit. First, let's add our test title page to this menu navbar. To do this, look to the left column and scroll down. You will see a section called Pages. If it isn't open already, then you should open it. What you will see here is a list of all the pages you've created on your website. To put any of these pages on the menu navbar, simply select the page and then Add to Menu. You can select multiple pages at once, or in this case, we're just going to select the test title page we've already created and now select Add to Menu. What you will see up here is that the test title page has been added to our menu navbar. We'll get back to that in a second. If you have a blog on your site, you can add the categories of the blogs to the menu navbar as well by doing the exact same exercise we just completed. There's also another really neat feature. Above the Pages section, you'll see something called Custom Links. If you want to add an external link or another website to your menu navbar, then all you need to do is type in the website address and then the label. This is the name that will appear on the menu navbar. Back to the test title page, if we open it, we can even call it something else. Be sure to save it anytime you make any changes. I also want to show you how you delete or remove a menu item from the menu bar. So in this case, let's remove what we do and real people. Once a page or a menu item is added to the menu bar, we can manipulate the position of this menu item on the menu bar. Let's change the position of each menu item of the current menu navbar. To do this, you simply drag and drop each box in the desired position. The position of the navbar from left to right on your site corresponds from top to bottom on this screen. You can even create sub-menus as well. My suggestion is no more than one level. You do this by again dragging and then sliding it over so it'll appear as if quiz title is a sub-menu of sports. Again, be sure to save your work. Now let's see how we've done. Let's select refresh. You'll notice quiz title is a sub-menu of sports and we've removed the other two, what we do, and real people. If you're not seeing the changes here, it's either because you never saved your work on the previous screen, or you haven't refreshed this screen to see the changes. One word of advice here. Be aware of how many menu items you place on the menu bar, as you don't want it to appear squeezed on the menu bar. A rule of thumb is, if you're going to remove one or two items, then you should perhaps add one or two items. 
unless of course you're adding submenus. So that's it. You can now manage your menu navigation bar. This concludes our Be Real video tutorial on managing the menu navigation bar. If you need more support on this topic, please visit the following website for more information. If you or someone you know is looking for a marketing and sales consultant, please visit our website or contact Reality Business Consulting. We can help your company or organization with website development, marketing and sales planning and implementation. Until the next tutorial, be real.